Donna, Cher, Gabby, and now Tyra. And she is the model that when she comes down the catwalk, people don't just take pictures, people don't just look at the dress, they go, whoa, 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 Tyra! Don't they? It freaks me out. <laughs> well, it would, wouldn't it, really? Does it put you off ever? No, it makes me do it even more. Like, I'll start walking kind of normal, and I go, Tyra, baby, come on, work it, girl. And so I'm just like, okay, here I go. <laughs> when you start becoming a model, how do you learn to do the funny walk? No, not everybody does it. It's just kind of like my thing. Um, it was one show, Todd Oldham, and I started walking out and I was kind of skipping and they just started acting crazy and wild and I was like, how do all these people know my name? This is like my first season doing fashion shows. And so I just like let it go. And then after that it became kind of a tradition for me to act a fool and act crazy. But this year I was like, you can't like t um, give people what they want all the time. So this season I just was normal, I didn't act crazy. This so you were just aloof this yeah. season? Yeah, a lot of people were disappointed, but it's like, look, if I did it again, you guys would have expected it, and it would have been boring, so. Now, how do the other girls react? I mean, I know that we're meant to believe that all supermodels are in this sorority where you kiss each other all the time and say, oh, but you're so beautiful. <laughs> oh, Linda, I would like to kiss you. You are so beautiful. But what's it really like? Do they get cross that you get all the attention? Um, well, I guess it's kind of like being the new girl in school, and they do kind of have their cliques. Like, you know, there's like Linda, Naomi, Christy, and, and so that is that clique. And then as, like, the next generation comes, we have our clique. So it does kind of feel kind of hard, you know, when you first start, because when I first started, it was only the supermodels, and I was the only new girl. And they'd all kind of look at me like, oh, who was that? And, oh, they saying that she looks like me, and da 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 and all this stuff, and it was kind of hard for me. But now I'm like, look, it's my turn, and it's my generation's turn, and, you know, you guys step back or whatever. When you said that some people went, uh, she's meant to look like me, that wouldn't have been Naomi, would it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to say. Next subject. When the waist look came in, I mean, not that it would bother you, but did a lot of people think, oh, crikey, that's the worst thing we're going to have to starve? A lot of people did. I had this one girl, a really close friend of mine from high school, and she's like, Tyra, when you came out, I was like, oh my God, am I going to have to get a boob job? And am I going to have to, like, you know, gain weight in the right places and do all this? And now I see all these other waist girls, and I'm going to have to be skinny now. And she was actually starving herself. So it, it hurts me, because what the fashion industry does is they say, this is what you have to look like right now. And it's sad. It's like, can't we just have a mixture of everything, you know, in the magazines? That's why I like this uh, spread that I did, because, in British Shell, because it, um, it's kind of like the natural look, what's going on now, but I have meat on my bones. I'm not really, really skinny. You don't so exactly have meat on your bones. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, some of them it's I not do. exactly meat. There's a well, little bit of flesh, I think, on page 173. <laughs> <laughs> but do you have to, I mean, do, do the models all diet? I don't. I should, but um, I don't. And I do have a, a couple extra pounds than the other models do, but that's just something that I, I deal with. I can't necessarily do every designer show, but then there are some designers like Alaya, you know, like or Todd Oldham, sexy designers that really like me because of my body. I don't think you can please everybody and starving yourself. You eliminate a whole other category by starving yourself. And how grumpy are models that starve themselves? I haven't really seen anybody starve themselves, but I have seen really skinny girls, and a lot of girls are naturally thin, and a lot of girls aren't. I don't exactly know who they are, but. I wouldn't say they're clumsy. Well, you're not going to name names, though. No, I'm not going to name names. <laughs> Bad-tempered backstage. Back, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to say. Now, you've done the the um, the uh, the George Michael video, and you did uh, Michael Jackson's video. Who yeah. was fun? They were both fun. George Michael was, um, it was weird because he was directing me, and it's like, wow, I was only 17 years old, and I'm like, George Michael's directing me? And I went home to all my friends, all my Catholic high school girls, and they're like, you girls, George Michael was there. They're like, ooh, was he fine? Was he trying to talk to you? And I'm like, no. <laughs> but um, Michael Jackson wasn't at the video that I did. He just, you know. But it's he so funny. Home. He was at home. But what was, like, freaking me out, because I'm like, Mom, Michael Jackson saw me in his video. Even though I didn't meet him, he's, like, looking at me in his video. I'm like, hey. <laughs> all models, lots and lots of models seem to always go out with pop stars. Now, who's propositioned you? Uh... I'm not going to say any names, but like... Oh, please, Tyra! Oh. Oh. Please! <laughs> say a name! Just no give name. us a name! But this one really famous guy sent some um, letter to my publicist saying, I want Tyra to come backstage to my show, and I want to take her out to he dinner. He wasn't incredibly short, was he? No. And he, he wasn't, wasn't somebody who tries to change his name from no. Prince? 
Prince. <laughs> no, this guy was like the kind of music that I don't even listen to, and I like Prince's music. It was just like, I'm not going to your concert, and I'm not going backstage. I don't know you. So, I mean, you do get a lot of that, but you just kind of have to sift through it and say, I'm sorry. You know, if, if so I there's been home. more than one? Oh, there's been more than one. And it wasn't Prince, no way. Like they're saying, um, I have some like record contract with Prince and Paisley. Right.